What's up everyone? I'm Jazz Broganzo and this is what's next, transgenderism. Of course, uh, transgenderism, if you listen to the media, uh, as they like to call it, or as I like to call it, celebrating mental illness, or CDs of the blaze, tranny madness. But this particular story of transgenderism, transgenderism is in regards to one conservative author who wrote a book on transgenderism, transgenderism, excuse me, uh, has been selling on Amazon for the better part of three years. Amazon just killed the book, just canceled it, just wiped it away. Why? Just because, or did it have, did it have something in common with a law, a bill that's being thrown through Congress right now called the Equality Act, which is not really equal it's more unequal, uh, basically is a slap to the face of the 64 uh, Civil Rights Act and also Women's Title IX Act. But um, you be the judge. Let's take a look. This story comes out of Breitbart. Amazon cancels best-selling conservative author for opposing transgenderism. It's a looker right there, huh? Big Tech has tightened its stranglehold on conservative ideas by censoring a best-selling book that undermines transgender ideology by showing its lack of scientific grounding. Which, of course, it's pretty much is what transgenderism is. Transgenderism, transgenderism is a mental illness. Um, it's not a physical issue. It is a mental issue. And until the mental issue is addressed... And you pretty much can call yourself whatever you want. You know, if you don't first come to the conclusion that there is a problem, you can never get that problem resolved. They can never fight uh, for the cure or move towards the cure, shall I say. Renowned scholar. Dr. Ryan T. Anderson released his book When Harry Became Sally, responding to the transgender transgender moment exactly three years ago, but only now, just days before a congressional vote on the Equality Act, Amazon has decided to erase the book from its website. Coincidence? Hmm. Amazon has canceled a meticulously researched book, not because of any factual errors or incendiary language, but because it counters the gender ideology popular in woke circles. Makes that clear. Amazon didn't cancel it because of factual errors or incendiary language. Had nothing to do with either war. Hmm. But because it was not woke. <sighs> Noteworthy experts in the field, including the former psychi psychiatrist in chief at John Hopkins Hospital, have heaped praise on the book. Anderson told Breitbart News Tuesday, and no one has yet produced a series scholarly response to the arguments it makes so no not one so-called expert has come out and denounced this book as being factually incorrect think about that let's sit there for a bit the book the book was not factually incorrect it just wasn't woke enough it goes against the narrative. And if it goes against the narrative, that means that it's wrong. Because as we know with the left, you know, it's all about feelings. Who cares about the facts? But for those of us who actually critical think, who actually use common sense and science, 
Facts don't care about your feelings. Thank you, Ben Shapiro. Anderson says that he has reached out to Amazon in an effort to find out what the tech giant found so intolerable about the book, but so far the company's executives had declined to respond. Translation, the company has no balls. Some may find it eerie that Amazon has decided to cancel one of the Equality Act's most prominent critics just before the controversial legislative legislation comes to a vote. Not really. Not really. A Wall Street Journal op-ed noted Tuesday that just when tech censorship has reached unprecedented levels, two congressional Democrats have written to Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos requ requesting more ideological suppression of uncomfortable ideas. Meaning, again, if it doesn't fit the narrative, the SJWs, all the twatter knots, the twatter douchebags, and democratic douchebags as well, are going to re until they get what they want. Hence, the cancellation of this book. Our country's public discourse is plagued by misinformation, disinformation. Ah, those lovely buzzwords of 2021. Conspiracy theories and lies, writes Representative Anna Hesu and Jerry McEnany in their letters to Bezos, echoing claims that the right-wing media is much more susceptible to such misinformation. Hmm. What's the old saying? Don't you know? Don't uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? Don't ask me no questions. I tell you no lies. I think that's what it is, or something to the sort. If you want to hear lies, BS, and garbage all day long, you turn on CNN. You turn on MSNBC because that's what it is: constant spewage of lies and BS. Because that's all they that's all they talk about. There's no factual nothing to them. From the little eunuch, you know, guy, you know, guy who looks like John Costanza, uh, you know, to the knucklehead uh, Don Lemon, and everybody in between. Constant vomitous spewage of BS all day, every day. Maybe outside of Cooper Anderson. Cooper Anderson, I, I give him I give him a little bit of cred. He's he's willing to hear the other side without jumping down the throats. You know, but um, everybody else uh, worthless. Corporate media censorship such as Amazon scrubbing of a her heretic heretical. Heret heretical book. I'm, I know I'm butchering that word. Like a heretic, I guess. Not, not heretic, I guess. Of a heretical book. I am butchering that word. I am. I'm butchering that word today. It is accelerating. The journal editors observe. And government is right alongside pushing for censorship with increasing force. Part of the problem is big tech's near monopoly of the market, Anderson told Breitbart News. It's as if a whole bunch of booksellers got all together and decided to blacklist a book just because it disagreed with its. Also from Anderson, quote, My prediction is that in the short run, I'll sell thousands more copies of the book thanks to Amazon censorship. He also notes, In the medium run, things will get worse for those who don't hold to, to traditional American values. But in the long run, a people can struggle against the natural law for only so long, he said. This is where we are in a nutshell, folks. Is that when you have those who write a book based on sound 
scientific principles. Theories. Backed by facts. Lays them out. Amazon sells it for the better part of three years. Not one, nothing, not one peep. Also in a law, a bill that is being pushed through Congress right now, the Equality Act, which is a piece of trash of a bill because it does nothing uh, for equality at all. It's basically forced equality. You're forcing it upon businesses. You're forcing it upon schools and what have you. Like I said in the beginning of this, it basically desecrates the 64 Civil Rights Act and also desecrates Title IX, which is basically, you know, equality for women regarding sports. Because, as we all know, that in this day and age, you know, you can put on a wig and lipstick and tenors and go run track and call yourself a woman and everybody's all okie dokie with it. But if anybody, if anybody speaks out of turn and says, hey, you know what? No, Johnny there was Johnny two seconds ago. Now she's, now he's Janie running around and uh, you just took my scholarship. No, you little girl, you sit down and shut your mouth. You sit down and shut your mouth, know your role, shut your mouth, get on my face. That is what the left does. That is the continuous nonsense and garbage being spewed all day, every day. That cannot stand, cannot be tolerated. Conservatives continue, they need to continue, like Dr. Anderson, continues to put out factual information like this. So that way, parents are in the know, people are in the know. But as long as you have those like the CNN, the MSNBCs, uh, the knuckleheads in Washington, uh, legacy media, and others, and you sit there and uh, you know say thank you, may I have another? No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It can't work. And in the end, you'll fail because of it. But as long as you have those, like the Blaze and Stephen Crowders and Ben Shapiro's and the Bill Whittles and uh, the David J. Harris's and the Candace Owens and Tucker Carlson's and many other conservatives, Dave Rubin and many others, who continue to speak their voices and make their voices loud and heard, there's always going to be a fight. And we're in it for the long haul. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Borgonzo. This is What's Next. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.